Hey, crossword fans. Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword from Monday, July 11th, 2022. All right, let's get started. One across, ATM withdrawal. I think this should be cash, right? Let's see if we can build off of that. Fish and chips, fish, typically. Ooh, I'm definitely not going to know this. Eureka. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I guess a good equivalent here would be, aha. Knight's title, that has to be sir. Starts by bypassing the ignition system. Hmm. Is this like hot wiring a car? I guess it could be hot wires, right? Yeah. It's hot wires in the present tense because in the clue we have starts in the present tense. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got a very good start in this corner. Let's see if we can get these last two across answers. Cincinnati's River. That seems like that should be the Ohio River. Pub Projectile. I guess that's a dart, right? You can play darts at a pub. Okay, so this first long across is probably our first theme answer. We just had the first letter. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Like a ride that has one holding on for dear life. Hmm. It seems like that has to be some kind of crazy roller coaster or something. Hmm. How would you describe a roller coaster like that? Interesting. We're going to need some more crossing help. And it is pointing to another answer down here. This is probably the revealer for our theme today. Let's see if we can get some more crossing help on this first theme answer. Homeric epic set during the Trojan War. That has to be the Iliad, right? Angel's instrument, that's gonna be a harp. One with access to privileged information. Hmm, how would you describe someone like that? Is it like a spy? I'm not sure. Damaged as a surface. I wonder if that could be marred. Yeah, that DE doesn't help that much on that privileged information clue. Hmm. Christian of fashion. Is that Christian Dior? I know I've seen that name before. Piece of greenery for a winner's wreath. That should be a laurel, right? Yeah, the Romans used to wear a wreath of laurels when they won a competition. Whoa, gotta run? Another equivalent phrase. It seems like this should be, I'm late, right? Like the white rabbit. Okay, so this is going to be another theme answer. Architectural diagrams. This should be blueprints, right? Okay, well we have one theme answer, that's interesting. Hearing things. And this is wordplay, that's indicated by this question mark here. With wordplay clues, you have to look for a punny answer. So this is not going to be about hearing things that aren't there. There has to be a pun in here somewhere. Maybe this is about things that literally hear. It could be your ears, right? That's very punny. Brunched, say. I guess this could be eight. Decoration on a moccasin or purse. I'm going to guess that's a bead. Well, if we come back here, we have D-E-R. That's not a very helpful suffix. Let's see if we can get the beginning of this word. Mischievous ones? I think that has to be imps. Yeah, mischievous children. Okay, that's going to help. Track and field competition. I think that should be a track meet, right? Yeah. Hospital notification device? That's got to be a pager. Vampire Slayer's Weapon. That's definitely going to be a stake. Yeah, you need a stake through the heart. Tidy. That's got to be neat. Sonic the Hedgehog Game Company. That's Sega. Okay, so this is going to be an insider. Yeah, an insider would have privileged information. Okay, so I wonder if we can get this theme answer at this point. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be a white knuckle ride, right? Yeah, because you're holding on for dear life. Um, okay, so we have white and blue. That's interesting. We have two colors. 
I wonder if we have a color-based theme today. Employ again. Is that going to be reuse? You're not actually talking about hiring someone for a job. Yeah. Almonds, e.g. I guess almonds would be examples of nuts. Yeah. Defeat soundly. I think this has to be trounce, right? Oh, that doesn't fit. Hmm. What is that going to be? Let's try and get these downs. Incoming deluge. Hmm. What is that going to be? That's interesting. This is like a flood. Hmm. Base for a teacup. That should be a saucer, right? It may pop before a toast. Is that going to be a cork on a champagne bottle? That's pretty funny. Human rights lawyer Clooney. That's a mall Clooney. And yes, she is married to George Clooney. Make angry. Hmm. It's not going to be ire. That's too short. Let's see if we can get these acrosses. Award won by Paul Newman and Gary Oldman. Hmm. It looks like it has to be an Oscar, right? Tennis champ Osaka. That's Naomi Osaka. In the countryside. I guess that's rural, right? So this is going to be Ryle. Yeah, make angry. And then this is an onrush, I guess? Yeah, that's a little bit of a rare term there. Okay. Defeat soundly. Is it going to be thrash? That feels about right. Yeah. Sharp-witted. Hmm. Let's hope we can get this one. It's not acute. That's not quite the right term. I wonder if we can get this second letter. Lead into Bop and Wolf in hits by Cindy Lauper and Shakira. <laughs> well, I know there's a She Bop by Cindy Lauper, so I guess there's a She Wolf by Shakira. Hmm. I guess we're not sharp witted enough to get this one. Let's see if we can get some extra help with it. Tut tutted, say. Hmm. Is that going to be shamed? Garden variety. And this is more wordplay, so it's not going to be about something ordinary. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be about something that's literally in a garden. Could it be an herb? I think that's a good pun there. Big time celebrity. That's got to be a star. Hmm. Okay, is this finally going to be astute? We finally got there, even though we weren't quite sharp-witted about it. Let's see if we can get this last theme answer. Knack for gardening. That has to be a green thumb, right? That's our last color. That's kind of cool that it's crossing herb here. So we have white, blue, and green. Hmm. I would almost think these could be colors of a flag, but I can't think of a flag that's white, blue, and green. Hmm. There's got to be one, though. Let's try and build down towards the revealer and see if we can find out what these colors are used for. Scots denial. I guess a Scottish person could say nay. That's right. Uno plus dos. Okay, so this is Spanish in the clue. So that means our answer needs to be in Spanish also. So one plus two is three and in Spanish three is trace. Yeah. So we have an or here. A rowing tool, that's right. Fairy. Hmm. Is that going to be a sprite? That's another word for a fairy. Uh-oh, we have NP. Presenter of Morning Edition and All Things Considered. Oh, I guess that's going to be NPR News. Nice, okay. Leisurely pace after hitting a home run. That is a home run trot. Captain's record at sea. That's going to be a ship's log. Let's see if we can build down through the center here. Equipment. That could be gear. Backspace over. I guess that's going to be delete. Yeah, that's something we have to do on the crossword sometimes. Yuletide beverage. That has to be eggnog. My favorite Yuletide beverage is soynog. Rewards dispensed in obedience training. That's got to be treats, right? For dogs. Yeah, we had treat on the puzzle yesterday, didn't we? 
comprehend. I think that's going to be grasp. If you grasp something, you understand it. Twitch. Is that going to be a spasm? Japanese breadcrumb coating. That is called panko, yeah. Um, okay, so I wonder if we're going to be able to get this revealer at this point. It's starting to look like something familiar. Let's take a look at this. Materials for a preschool artist, or a hint to 20, 32, and 40 across. Yeah, this looks like it has to be finger paints, right? Why is it finger paints? Oh my goodness, it's because we have something on your hand at the end of each theme answer and a color at the beginning. So we have white knuckle, blue prints, and a green thumb. That's so funny. Yeah, they're all finger paints. What a clever revealer. And that's a fun collection of theme answers. That's very cool. Excellent. All right, let's see if we can finish off the bottom here. Coconut oil and butter for two. Those are two fats. Land bordering Afghanistan. I believe that's Iran. Let's see if that's right. Kisses and caresses in British lingo. I guess that's gonna be snogs. Yeah, if you're snogging, you're kissing. Card deck used in divination. That's reading the future. Yeah, that's gonna be a tarot card deck. Venue for Stevie Nicks or the Knicks. <laughs> the Knicks, the basketball team? That's pretty funny. They'd both play in an arena, right? Okay, so this is going to be Nero, emperor during the Great Fire of Rome. That's right. Start a poker pot. That's going to be ante. Yeah, that's your originating bet. Distort as facts. That's going to be skew and honorees on the second Sunday in May. That's Mother's Day, so that'll be moms. So we have an item, a thing. That's right, it's very general. Doily fabric, I guess that has to be a lace. Blank office, room in the West Wing. That's the Oval Office, right? That's the President's office. And what's our last answer here? Microbe, that should be a germ. So that should give us Av, or Ave Maria, a him. Ford or Fiat, that's a car. And this should be Elm, stately tree. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, let's throw that M in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 15 minutes. That's a very fast time for us. Yeah, this Monday puzzle solved really nice and smoothly. I really loved this theme too, finger paints. That's so cool. Each of these three theme answers could be interpreted as talking about finger paints because they have a paint color and a part of your finger in them. We have a white knuckle, blue prints. You have blue fingerprints and a green thumb. Yeah, this is a perfect theme concept for a Monday puzzle. I really like this one. These are all good entries in and of themselves too. White knuckle, blueprints, and green thumb. Yeah, these are all nice long answers. We also got hot wires as a nice long answer too. I really like that one. And on top of this fun theme, we even got a pair of really nice Monday wordplay clues. There was hearing things for ears. And we also had garden variety for herb. These are both really nice puns. Yeah, I'm always happy to see wordplay clues on Monday puzzles. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed finger painting our way through this Monday solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.